Saji, welcome to your love reading for end of September heading into October 2021. I hope you're doing well. I have done a pre-shuffle, so let's get started. What your cards are screaming out to me is quite similar to the Leo reading, although I'm sure there's going to be nuances once we get into the crux of the reading. What's screaming out is that you have this passionate connection with someone, um, but, but, <laughs> but they might ghost you. You're going to have to be very careful. Don't be strung along by someone because there's this strong chemistry. You're enjoying the intimate times um, because this person is going to be indecisive. This person doesn't know what they want yet with you. They're going to need some time and they have clearly some unresolved issues with their ex. I'll show you. It's coming out um, really, really strongly. We have unresolved issues with the ex but we also have the boat and on the boat the card says moving on or closure issues so it could be that this person abruptly ended things with their previous um, person and um, they need to kind of make sense of things before they are ready to kind of move on with anyone else um, but we have the clock and uh, I'm not sure what I want yet maybe I need time for my feelings to develop let's work on our friendship so clearly this person needs time okay the reason why I'm saying careful not to be strung along or careful that this person just does a runner on you um, there's there's there is a risk of ghosting here we have abandonment and we also have missed opportunity um, I'm getting that they regard their last person as a missed opportunity. They have regret from this former relationship. Um, and abandonment is talking about ghosting. It's nothing to do with you, Sagittarius. It's important that you know that. So Spirit's advice so far is that there's something that you don't yet know. Wait and bide your time for better results. And that's coming through with the clock as well. Wait and bide your time for better results. We've got keys on a ring, which talks about options, a decision needing to be made, stringing along. So I've just finished telling you that this person has the tendency to string you along or give you the wrong impression that they're looking for something more than just sex. Look, there is sex here. We, we've got I lust for you. There's a strong sexual connection and we've got destructive habits. So, um, you know, there's a flame on this card. So I can clearly see there's fire, there's a magnetic connection between the two of you. Um, but look what this card is saying. Sex negatively impacting relationships. So I'm not passing any judgment here. But sex kind of does complicate things. And it looks like here that you might have kind of rushed headlong into something intimate before heeding the red flags, before having the important discussions, um, before getting clear about what this person is looking for or not looking for, okay? So uh, again, I'm not here to pass judgment. I'm here to read the energies. And I'm not going to make anything up. I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm going to tell you exactly what I see in the cards. Um, let's have a look at the person that you're dealing with. So right away where I cut the deck is the three of wands in the reverse. I'm getting that this is spirit's um, way of saying don't be holding your breath for this person. Don't be waiting by the phone. I always tell people never put your life on hold for someone. You know, you shouldn't be waiting for someone to choose you. You, you live your life um, and don't be putting it on hold for anyone, okay? Angels and Spirit, please show me who is Scorpio. Sorry, not Scorpio. I just did Scorpio's reading. Who is Sagittarius? Who is Sagittarius dealing with? Who is their person of interest, please, in late September 2021? Who is Sagittarius's person of interest, please? Yep, look at that. Three of swords in the reverse. They're still kind of healing from a breakup. Three of swords is grief, sorrow, betrayal, heartbreak. 
so their, st their heart is still healing. So um, we have three swords here, so I do feel like um, there's three people, at least energetically, in this connection. There's you having a, a lusty kind of intimate relationship, probably most of you, um, with your person, and then there's the other person that they're thinking about, all right? That's my dog, by the way, making noise. So who is Sagittarius dealing with in late September? Ten of Wands in the reverse. They need to release emotional baggage. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Quiet. Who is Sagittarius dealing with in late September 2021, please? She likes to make her presence known, my little puppy. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. I'm seeing the Strength card. We have the King of Cups in the reverse. Someone who's emotionally unavailable. They seem to be physically available, but they're not really offering you their cup of love. They're not really um, opening up to you, showing their feelings, judgment. Okay, this person, I feel, is... Maybe some of them are hoping for a second chance with their past person, so be careful. And that's where the ghosting comes in. If this person does a runner on you and you're just kind of thinking, what the hell happened there? Why did I never hear from them again? It's because they do want a revival of their past relationship, okay? Push. I don't know how many like times she has to try and get comfortable behind me. <laughs> Anyway, who is Sagittarius dealing with, please? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups, which is regret, guilt, crying over spilt milk, someone stuck on the past, someone dwelling on past hurts and disappointments, and someone who's oblivious that right in front of them, they have two upright cups here. Okay, so you have someone who is clearly um, focusing on the past. Shush. Yeah. So they're holding on to someone. We have the Four of Pentacles. Um, we've got the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So they haven't told you something. And that, that's where that card comes into play um, that says um, there's something you don't yet know. Wait and bide your time for better results. You have the five of swords in the reverse. So I feel like this person feels like they're, they're, there was unfinished business with their past person. Um, they left empty-handed. They didn't get the outcome that they wanted. And so... Um, yeah, there's a lack of closure with this Five of Swords in the reverse. There was an argument that was never really settled or never really resolved from that card, okay? And that's why they're not ready to start something new. We have the Fool in the reverse. Um, I'm, I'm getting strong Leo, strong fellow fire sign energy from your person. We have the King of Wands. If you're not dealing with a fellow fire sign, you're not dealing with a Leo this is just simply saying this person has a lot of passion for you so there's strong desire here but not much else we've got the hermit in the reverse so they're not seeing the truth of the situation it's like they need more time to to think things through to figure things out okay that's what I'm getting from the hermit in the reverse um, we have the Empress in the reverse. So I'm just getting that this connection isn't really expanding. It's not really growing. It's not really reaching its potential right now because this person isn't allowing that. They're not ready for that, okay? Um, we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. I'm just getting that this person is fighting for another relationship and therefore they're resisting the one that they've got with you. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups next to the Queen of Cups and the Six of Swords in the reverse. Look, they clearly haven't moved on from something. So 
The Eight of Cups talks about someone who's leaving a situation behind, but they clearly still have love left with the Queen of Cups here, okay? All right. So let's see what your Moonology deck uh, message is. Your card just came out then, Sagittarius. Angels and Spirit, what is the message for Sagittarius in late September, heading into October 2021? Nothing will come of this situation. So... Not at the moment anyway, not in the immediate future. So you need to um, let go of your expectations about what might happen between you and this person. Don't give up totally though. We have faith, we have, have faith in your dreams and work through your fears. So for many of you, this will just be a temporary um, break. Uh, you need to give this person time, okay? Yep. Exactly. While you wait for this person to resolve their issue, because we have a personal issue reaches resolution, your task is to surrender this to the divine. So if it's meant to be, it will be. That's that energy. Okay. We've got your commitment is being tested. So what I'm getting here is not to completely give up on this person. That's your commitment is being tested. But let go of expectations. Give them the space, the time that they need. This is very similar to Leo's reading. That's interesting. It's, it could be that you're dealing with a Leo and you're both mirroring each other with unresolved past people, relationships. Let's see what your advice is. Angels and Spirit, what is Sagittarius' advice? In love in late September 2021, please. All right, don't be anxious about this. All right, we've got surrender stress, and it's saying take a few deep breaths, exhale the tension that you've built up in your body, and let the stress go as you come back to your center. Surrender to divine timing. You just need patience here, okay? It's a matter of giving this person the time that they need to figure things out. All right, angels and spirit, what is the advice? It's not the right time. It's not the right time to strengthen this relationship, to get to know each other on a deeper level. It's not the right time for union, for coming together, okay? It says, sometimes we hold on to the past without moving forward, trapping ourselves in a low point of our lives. Respect the other person's wishes and be on your way, and from there you can heal. So there's double messages. There's double meanings in this card. This is um, saying that the other person is holding on to the past without moving forward and trapping themselves in that past relationship. But you're also putting your life on hold until this person makes their mind up about you which is the wrong approach okay yeah you've got stop so i feel like um leo got that message too you need to allow this person to regroup and to really um just get over that the last chapter um they're confused they're not sure what they want with you so you just need to kind of um, pull the reins and take back your power don't be leaving this connection up to the other person's um, whims. Uh, you can just take your power by removing yourself from the connection, not allowing them to come in and be physical with you when it's convenient for them. Playing the victim is like, it's saying, change your way of thinking. You do have power here, even if it doesn't feel like it. Don't allow them, don't enable them to treat you like you're less than or to treat you like, um, well, in any way that makes you feel not enough. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm getting. 
keep your options open. Don't be putting all of your eggs in this one basket. You've got knock, knock. It says holding on to something unnecessarily will block the way for new opportunities to arrive. So I feel like your person is, is blocking new opportunities, i.e. you. And by you holding on to them, hoping for something more, you're blocking the way for other opportunities to arrive for you. Okay. Um, now, what is uh, their next move towards you? Angels and Spirit, what is Sagittarius' person's next move towards Sagittarius? Is Sagittarius this person of interest? What, what's their next move? What's their next action towards Sagittarius, please? The Hermit in the reverse. So I do feel like they will want to talk to you after a period of ghosting um, or silent treatment. They may also, um, if you've blocked them, they might create a fake profile to, to see what's going on with you. Um, I'm just, I'm hearing flying under the radar or, you know, going incognito is what I'm getting from the hermit in the reverse. Yeah, we do have the sword, the seven of swords, which is a card of someone sneaking away, someone avoiding you, avoiding sitting down and talking about their intentions you know i'm getting the seven of swords as avoidance and and um sneakiness yeah eight of cups i see them walking away so you need to be careful don't be strung along and um be careful not to invest too much in this person because they're definitely capable of ghosting is what i'm being shown here okay um Let's see what they would say to you. What would they say to Sagittarius, please, if they could be 100% honest? I just don't know how to act in a committed relationship. I'm just seeing this as they are not ready to commit to you. They're not ready to start or cultivate an, a new relationship right now. I wish I could be brave and tell you that I still have feelings for you. Um, hmm. I'm getting that they just, they're not brave enough to tell you what's actually going on and, and how they're feeling. That's just what I'm getting from that card. I was hiding how I was really feeling about you. I was keeping it a secret because I don't feel good enough for you. I'm loving you from afar. See, this person is at a distance. They're avoiding. What does Sagittarius need to know? Whenever I see star-crossed lovers, I'm just getting that it's a case of bad timing. You know, the stars weren't aligning for you. The stars were working against you, okay? So... But they also feel a sense of, you know, the one that got away. They feel a sense that, that their last person was um, a star-crossed lover as well. Oh my gosh, you've got a card here saying someone's not ready to settle down. That seems to be the main theme of your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see. Love triangle. Angels and Spirit, please show me what does Sagittarius need to see regarding this connection in late September. There's a card here saying it's, it's time for you to put a stop to behavior that doesn't feel good for you um it says put a stop to it and know that you're, you're deserving of real love 
you need to work on your confidence you've got self-love here and we've got common law union so i feel like um for some of you your your person of interest could still be even living with their past person there's some sense of like um at one stage or even still they were living together yeah we've got on again off again so this person is very in and out of your life and you need to stop enabling that behavior is what i'm getting okay um let's see what other advice we can get for you what does sagittarius need to know in late september 2021 please keeps coming up for you the peacock self-love time to celebrate you and all of your magnificent light acceptance embrace who you are and we've got butterfly take the leap of faith so um interesting the butterfly obviously talks about change transformation so you have the power so don't play the victim or don't believe that you are the victim you have the power to change what's no longer working here okay i'm just going to get final messages from spirit using this deck here Angels and Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to know in love in late September 2021? Yeah, stalking you online. I do feel like some of them have a fake profile to keep tabs on you. Um, we've got let them make the first move. They're secretly yearning for you. We've got feelings are mutual. So they do have feelings for you. They just have unresolved feelings for their ex. And what the two of you need is to spend more quality time together, maybe outside of the bedroom and see if you have um, more than just, you know, that sexual chemistry. Playing the field. So this person is definitely, you know, non-committal. pregnancy um there could be someone in this scenario could be pregnant i don't know it's not going to apply to every one of you but i did see the empress we've got having a baby here we've got love triangle coming out again we've got magic happens when you let go so let go of expectations around what's going to happen with this person um, or uh, you know stop having expectations around um, having a relationship with them I do feel like they're going to apologize eventually for ghosting you. Um, but by that time, I feel like there'll be someone new on the scene for you. We've got new love will find you. Okay. So let me know if that resonated. I'm trying to grow my channel. So look out for more regular videos for Saggies. Um, and uh, I appreciate your support. So like, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.